Eva, congratulations, your first uh, match here in Eastbourne and a great performance. Just talk us through your thoughts on the match, please. Yeah, I think it was tricky for me because I've never played here before, so I had to adapt to the court, to the visuals, to the bounces, to the surface, and um, it was difficult in the first set, especially playing Sloane, who, I don't know, she just seems more experienced, maybe played this tournament. I think she did play this tournament before, and uh, just... Yeah, it was tough to hit through the ball, I would say, also, because the conditions or the balls get very slow, and um, I think they don't really bounce either. So I think it was just about adapting and figuring things out in the first set, but I'm pleased with how I did that and, um, yeah, did some really good stuff in the second, too. Okay, we'll start with Simon. That's the one, Mike. Hi, Emma. Um, it seemed like you talked to Nick a little bit in that sort of tight period, maybe half an hour in before you really put your foot down and, and moved away? Was, was he helpful or did you kind of figure it out yourself? Um, I think it was it was more just like, okay, I need to figure out how to hit through these conditions or how best to play in these conditions because, um, like, for example, like, I'd, I'd say, like, rushing when the balls get heavier is not the best play because it's you're just giving them time. And... Uh, that's what was happening, I'd say, in the first set. It was just she had so much time on the ball, let's say. And and then when I was moving the ball around in the second and the back end of the the first, I think that, um, yeah, I was just able to take control more. But obviously Sloan is a really good athlete and good counterpuncher. So in the first set, I think I was just, yeah, getting outplayed a little bit because my ball speed was probably too low. Okay. It looked like you weren't... Um my own pace on the camera afterwards what what do you mean by that what what does that phrase kind of mean to you <laughs> yeah i would say it's just i'm gonna do things on my own time at my own pace and i'm in no rush to do anything um and everything i'm doing and playing for now is for myself and uh, i think it's just whether that's tournament scheduling whether that's um yeah how much time i take off to train compared to compete i think i'm just way more focused on my own lane and, and less susceptible to outside opinions or views. And uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying it, to be honest, just doing everything for myself and, and really just being independent out here. Uh, Russell mentioned right. Yeah. Yeah. Emma, the heavier balls, which are obviously not unique to this tournament, is that a concern for you from an injury perspective and the impact it can have on wrists, elbows, shoulders? 